Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to episode 22 of Let's Make a Mod and this time we're going to be focusing on adding colors to our item names or probably even block names. Um, I haven't really tried it on blocks but uh, that's something new but I'm going to do this for items in particular are green gem so uh, how about we give our item some awesome custom colors so we have already in made our item enchantment how about we give it a special color so uh this is pretty much everything you guys been asking for lately so if you guys really do enjoy this series be sure to leave a rating for me to continue on with the series and make a lot more uh you know awesome tutorials uh for you guys to actually enjoy and the source will all be available no matter what in my forums not my health forums but uh you go to my forums and you just go and get the codes and everything that you need and uh, if you need help help forums are available so anyways how about we start off uh, with our gem so right now I'm in Eclipse and I'm in my modern score Minecraft and I'm only gonna do this for my uh, green gem right here because it is already enchantment and we do have a separate class for it so we don't have to edit a base class in order to you know color our uh, green pickaxe the color green or any of that stuff so uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna show you guys later on like I said I'm gonna show you guys how to make yourself separate classes just for your uh, tools and whatnot and I'm pretty sure you could probably end up doing this probably for blocks as well I'm gonna give it a try throughout this tutorial I know it works 100% on items probably we have to change it a bit for the uh, blocks in order to get a custom color out of it so how about we go to our item green gem so our class that we made that we placed our enchantment effect so what you're gonna do is go to my forums and you're gonna get the code that's listed in episode 22 in the spoiler and you just copy this code you're just gonna right click and copy and what you're gonna do is just paste it so let's go ahead and just paste it anywhere along our class and there it is it's public string get item display name item stack and par item stack and here it is so all you really have to focus on is this section right here so in particular this E right here so uh, this E is a colored code for I believe it's yellow so uh, if we press play right now with just the default E that I just placed how about we just go into our Minecraft go to single player go into any world I like and now if I look at my item it's green look at that green gem is now actually a yellow name that's awesome and the other you know stuff don't really have any special colors only the green gem the green gems awesome that's why so uh, in order for you to understand the color coding uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna link a special web page from the minecraft wiki for everyone to actually see um the actual codes and all that stuff and all the the different code for the colors so this will also be in my forums you just click on the links below and all that stuff all right so let, let's look at all the colors here's all the colors we used e right here you see e we used that and it came out yellow didn't it you could also look at this picture right here so if you put number zero it's going to come out black and you just look at all the different colors that you could actually uh customize so uh, let's try out dark red right now. Why not? So it's number four. So we're going to go to our uh, coding. And instead of the E right here, we're just going to replace that with the four. So get rid of the E and place a four. And you don't have to worry about all of these extra um, these extra codes of line. It's because uh, it, it's a special, I have to say it's a special uh, code that Minecraft reads that changes the color and this is the actual color right here that you just change the number right there uh, you don't have to worry about this do not change this because you'll probably end up screwing something up but just cha just change the number uh, after seven and that's pretty much it that's the best way I could explain it all I know is you have to have that in order to have yourself yourself a, like a special color so now if we go into our world our actual gem should be dark red and it is so now it's an evil green gem it's evil so now how about we uh how about we actually make it green since it is a green gem let's go back to our uh, web page and let's see we're gonna give it number two because that's like the nicest green or probably a is really nice it's a, a light green and if we look over here here's an example so yeah I'm gonna go with uh, the dark one because we could use the light one for the shiny gem but I'm gonna use the dark one number two so I'm gonna go back here replace that four, put a two and it should be able to work and now I'm gonna press play show you one more example and then I'm gonna show you guys something else that I think it's pretty cool uh, I'm gonna have to try it out myself so here it is and now it's a green gem and it actually has the green gem the green gem the the green gem color on it so now I'm gonna save and quit and now what I'm gonna do is something different I haven't tried this out but I've tried this actually I, I lied I tried this out several times and it actually did work so I'm gonna copy this code right here you guys don't have to do this but I'm gonna copy this code and right after the two I'm gonna press control V to paste it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the color code and uh, let me get myself a four let's just put a red in there 
All right, so I'm going to put a red. I'm going to copy and paste, and let's just throw some random number in there. Let's put a, uh, hold on, let me just uh, look at the color code. I don't want to put anything dumb. Let's put a E for, for gold. So pretty much what I'm doing here is that every slash will reset its letter. So the first letter of the green, let's say the, the green gems, the first letter, which is a G, will actually be green. And then the second letter will be dark red. And then the third letter will be uh, yellow. That's what I predict. And it should be able to work because I've actually tried this out myself. So I'm going to press play. And then when I go into single player, go into the world, probably if I look at the item, oh no, it, it didn't really do it. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's just a test. It didn't really work this time. I think they patched it. They patched it or something, but uh, it didn't seem to work. So I'm just going to remove all that. So uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. How about we try this out on a block? Uh, I'm not sure if it'll work on a block. This is just an experiment. Uh, I'll leave an annotation or something if it didn't really work out. So I'm going to locate my block green solid. Actually, that, yeah, let's just go to my block green solid. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to search. Instead of actually trying to find it, I'm just going to search it. And you'll find it in less than a second. And here it is. This is this is my class. So there we go. How about I paste my code, this code right here, into my block green solid. And I'm sure we have to change the uh, item stack to something else. Um... Let's see, there's an error, and the error is right here. So, oh, item, item name. How about we just change this to a block name? How about we just block name? Will that work? No, that does not work. So I'm sure it doesn't work on blocks, but either way, you guys did learn something new. Uh, you can learn how to change the color on an actual item. I will later investigate how to do it for a block. So the name of this tutorial will be uh, called how to change the color font of your name item name or whatever something like that something fancy so uh that is pretty much it guys all you need is just this all you need to worry about is just this and this just line of code and guys that is basically it i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys later see you guys next time